Now I tried to think of an opening joke for this, but it's really hard to make a fourth wall breaking joke when I'm already talking directly at the camera. Deadpool 2, new trailer, which means yes, I'm putting out more than one video at a day. Somehow this became trailer season. Maybe this happens every year, like uh, with the Super Bowl and then immediately following, I just forget. But yeah, I'm flooded with stuff that I kind of feel like I should talk about and, and actually I want to talk about as well. So the new trailer for Deadpool is very good and very enjoyable for a lot of reasons. And I will say this, it's... It's made me, and this isn't the first trailer that I've thought this, but it's probably the first one I'm gonna vocalize it. I miss seeing trailers for the first time in a theater and the trailer starts and you don't know what it's for because how straight faced the thing starts right up until the point that it freezes and there's Cable's arm with the green screen sleeve and Deadpool starts riffing on it, it seems dead serious right up to that point. So, you know, it would be very cool in a theater to have it just stop dead like that when you watch it online, which is how most of us see it when these trailers get released, you're clicking on a video link that says Deadpool 2 trailer. You know exactly where it's going. But that's a, that's a meta thing. And a meta commentary seems uh, appropriate for a Deadpool trailer. Um, but in any case, I'm actually quite intrigued and impressed by Josh Brolin as Cable. And I say surprisingly because Josh Brolin is an actor who I've never been particularly impressed by. I think he's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. I've never been in love with any of his work. And Cable is a character that I kind of actively dislike. In my defense, that's based off what he was like in the 90s. Maybe he got better after that. I don't know. But I, he, this is not a character I enjoy at all. But I like what I'm seeing here. I like how straightforward he is. I like how deadpan he is. That is going to play well off of Deadpool, off of Ryan Reynolds. So that gives me a lot of hope for that dynamic and how that's going to play out. Um, the little snippets of action that we get, we get a couple of, it's it's cut together. There's a lot of cuts in it, which you usually get with the trailer. But we get enough long-ish shot that's, that I feel like I'm starting to get a feel and a vibe for the action and how it's going to flow and how it's going to look. And I'm liking everything that I'm seeing. We get a quick shot of Domino in action, which is nice. We get a little bit of that, of that uh, taxi driver again. And... Uh, I kind of love the expression on his face that like in this instant just says like, oh, what did I get myself into? Which is nice. That's a good vibe to get off him, especially because I was kind of skeptical about bringing that character back at all. But, you know, you got that and you've got TJ Miller look, looking like he's utterly failing at, at an action scene. And you've got Deadpool's blind roommate pointing a gun at not the person who's actually there, not where they are. And... And, and of course, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, yes. So all this stuff just looks really good. And that for me at this point is really important because there was something that I realized during sort of the extended uh, little divergence of Deadpool playing with the action figures, uh, which is funny and it's nice and it's fine, but it made me sort of realize something that I think I kind of knew, but hadn't really uh, fully formed the thought yet which was that there is actually reason to be nervous about a Deadpool 2. And that is because Deadpool 1, you know, was very comedy heavy. And that's not a bad thing. That worked for that film. Comedy sequels are not um, known for being very good at all. Like, almost never. And pretty much never as good as the first time around. Because comedy doesn't... Comedy doesn't stand up to, to repetition a lot. And a lot of what makes something, you know, that gut-bustingly funny is the freshness and the unexpectedness of it. But you get a second one, even if the jokes are as well delivered as they were the first time, they're not going to play as well as they did the first time. They can't. So... That makes me nervous when I stop and think about that. So when I see these action beats and I'm getting hints, and I don't have a story yet, but I'm getting hints at that stuff being really good and really solid, that gives me self that gives me some assurance. Because the first Deadpool, while the action scenes were pretty good, the story was very perfunctory um, and was really kind of only notable for being told slightly out of sequence the way that it was. But really the story and the origin and what was going on was not particularly remarkable in that first Deadpool movie. What made that first Deadpool movie special was Deadpool himself and the injection of his style of humor into film. But that's not going to be new anymore. 
So going to the next one, if they're going to retain that, which they should, it's a big part of the character. It's a big part of this franchise. It's, a, it's what they it's what they're selling. They need to up the level of basically everything else so so that his humor isn't having to carry so much as it was the first time around again not knocking the action scenes or any of the rest of it in the first movie but it was decent if the humor hadn't been there in that first movie it would not have been a particularly remarkable movie so everything that isn't the jokes needs to up its game for this one and pretty much all of what i'm seeing feels like it's doing that. The action looks good. It looks like they're shooting it serious. They're not shooting it jokey, which is good. I think it would have been an easy temptation to lean harder into the jokes and the gags, but that's where it would all get stale. So this trailer, honestly, to me, is just a really big reassurance, sort of, even as it reminds me, boy, the humor, when you keep kind of doing the same thing over and over again, that starts to lose its weight but this trailer is showing me a whole bunch of stuff that feels like everything's up a notch and that's exactly what i want exactly what i need from this film so i think that's about it it was a good trailer i liked it and um just sort of got me thinking about the sequel in general sort of the hurdle that it has to overcome being at least in part a comedy sequel like i said kind of a kiss of death historically speaking but in any case Deadpool 2. Did you see this trailer? Hope so. Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. There's all that stuff you can do. You can support me on Patreon. I got swag you can get by doing so. I'm also on Twitter and I got a podcast and I got links for all that stuff in the description. So until next time, this council is adjourned.